Hello everyone, welcome to our first Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about how you could do drag and select on the screen. So this, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So in this game we have a sandbox mode where you could put some blocks there and you could either select them one by one like this or you could drag a box on the screen, which selects multiple of them. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how we could draw this box using just click and drag. Okay, so let's close this project and let's go to a fresh third person game game project on Unreal Engine. Uh, so basically what we want to do is we want to draw on the HUD. So what we need to do is to add a function that draws the box on the HUD. So let's go ahead here and create a HUD blueprint. And let's call it third Person hot. And let's open this. We want to go to the event graph. Now, in order to be able to draw on the hot, we have to call this event, which is called uh, receive event receive draw hot. And we want to create a function that draws the box for us. So let's create a function and call it draw drag box. So what we want to input into this is the initial position that we press the mouse button that starts the drag function. And we wanted to draw the lines every time that we move the mouse, right? So when we press somewhere, we want to start and we want to draw a box where the mouse currently is. So I'm just going to show you in paint. So this is going to be our starting position, x1 and y1. And the final position or the current position of the mouse is going to be x2, y2. And these corners would have the coordinates of x1, y2 and x2, y1. Now we have to draw four lines going from each point to the other one, right? So line one, line two, line three, and line four. Now let's go ahead and make, make, make a function that does that. Okay, so the input is going to be a 2D vector. So let's say uh, initial position of the mouse, vector 2D. And we want to draw a line. And we want to do this four times. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. Let's So for the first one, we want to go from x1, y1, so this is going to be our starting position, to x1, y2. So here I'm going to get the player controller, mouse position, and so we want to go from x1, y1, to x1, y2. And for the next one, so this was x1, y1, going to x1, y2. So this was the one I drew. Now I want to go to this one. So x1, y1, x2, y1. So this would be my x2. 
and I'm actually going to drag this all the way. Same thing for X. Oops. And Y1 as well. So I'm gonna create another node here. So X1, Y1, X2, Y1. And same thing here. So now we want to go uh, from X2, Y1 to X2, Y2. This one goes to X2. And X2. And we have from Y1 to Y2. Okay. So this is the third line and we want to make the fourth line now, which goes from X1, Y2 to X2, Y2. So X1 here. To X2. And Y2 here. And Y2 ending. Okay, so this function is now done and it would draw the lines for us. So now we can go back here and connect this to our function. Okay, this all sounds very good. However, we want to somehow call this event. For example, when you, when you press the, the left mouse button. So let's save it here and go back to our third-person third -person character where we want this to happen. Okay, okay so first thing we want to do is we want to show the mouse button, although this is not necessary, but let's, let's have something that does that. So, input key, maybe like, just anything like that. And Player controller. Show mouse button. And we want to set it to true. Or we could do a flop flip flop here. And whenever it's on A, you will show the mouse button and whenever it's on B, you will not So this would do the job. And we want to have another one on on the left mouse button. And whenever we want to press this, we want to uh, we want to call this event here. Event receive draw hot. Now, if you cast it to hot and then call this function, it wouldn't work. We need we need this event to be running. Now, a way to do this is to use Blueprint interfaces. So I'm going to create a Blueprint interface here. Uh, yeah, it should be here. And I'm going to call it Draw Lines. And in here, I'm just going to call it Draw Lines. Now, it's going to send over the initial position of the mouse. So we are going to have the initial position. So I'm just gonna call it in, in it, in it pause. And this would be a vector 2D.
we're also going to make a boolean and I will tell you why because when we remove the when we remove the left mouse button we want to stop the drawing so we want to pass on that information through a boolean all right now we can go back here in the third person sorry yeah here and on pressing the left mouse button we want to call uh what did they call it draw lines uh yeah Yep, draw lines. Sorry, there was no call in it. And the target is going to be the HUD. So, uh, again, player controller, get HUD. And we can connect that there. Okay, and the initial position is going to be the position of the mouse. So, from here, we get them. Oops, sorry, not from the hot, from this one. Get the mouse position, and we connect. So we have to make vector two D from the X and Y, and connect it to the initial position of the mouse that we're looking for. Okay, and when we are on pressing the left mouse button we want this draw to be ticked and when we release it we want this to be false so the way we could do this is uh, so we can tick this one and we can just copy and paste this here and have this to be unchecked and uh, also connecting the hot here so this this should do that this should do the job just make me a little bit tidier here all right uh, i'm just gonna push it a little bit forward yeah actually it doesn't matter can keep it like that okay so we're good here now going back to the third person hot now we have to implement the blueprint interface so we go to class settings add interface and we want to draw the line to add the draw lines interface and implement the function now when this draw is true we want to open the gate which goes through here so let's do a branch here and then from the branch we're going to do a gate uh, and this is what we want to pass through the gate so if this is true we want to open the gate if this is false we want to close the gate and we just pass on the boolean through this okay now the target for this is self because I just created the, the function here and the initial position is going to be passed on. Now this initial position is the mouse position where the left mouse button is pressed. So the moment you press it, you take that information from get mouse position, you pass it on. And when you release it, you stop drawing the line. So you, you close the gate here. So let's now go and check this. Okay, so I'm gonna press Z, but it's not drawing. Uh, let's see if we've done something wrong. Ah. Uh. Here I had to change the hot to third person mode. 
Sorry for that. And if we try it now, it should be working. But we want to stop the camera from moving. So what I can do is, I could go to third person character, go to camera, and untick this one, use pound control rotation. And now if I try this, you can see that I can drag on the screen. Okay, this is it for today. Next time, I'm going to show how you can actually select objects through this. So currently we're only drawing the line and it doesn't do anything, but you can make it to pick up the objects that fall inside the drag box. And hopefully we can cover that in the next tutorial. Thank you everyone for watching this. Hope you have a good day. Bye bye.